to create a new template, you go to Elements, Templates, and then you use this little plus button. Click on it, and then you give your template a name. So we're going to give it a name Fur Baby. And you can also give it a description, an icon, and the, here this is the template code. So this is your all your HTML is going to go. And uh, now the only field that's required is the name, so we can just click Save. And here we have the Fur Baby template. And let's uh, let's start coding it like it's a normal website. So we're going to start with the HTML tag, and then we're going to add the lang attribute, and then we're going to close the HTML. Oops. Actually, make sure you actually write a good HTML. And then we're going to start with the head, close the head, and you know, etc. However, this is an ideal because we don't want to be coding in the browser, we want to be coding in our text editor. So to do that, let's first take a look at the directory structure of Modex. Let's save it. This is Modex's directory structure, and this is the this is the root. So the assets folder contains it contains our front end code. It also contains our photos, the gallery, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's sort of like the WP slash templates on WordPress. So what I usually do is I go to my assets directory, right click, click directory, then I type template and inside the template, I add my template code. And this is usually, you know, my template, um, my actual, my actual templates. So to do that, let's let's create a directory on our own computer. Okay, so I created a directory for Baby Modex, and over here we're going to be developing the template for the site. However, we actually need to download some files first. The way I usually have it set up is I'm on for Baby Modex, and instead of downloading all the files here and all the folders like assets, connect connectors, core, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mimic the assets folder or the template folder as well. So I'm going, what I'm going to do is you see how assets have the template folder and inside is going to be our template. So here I'm just going to add the template and then connect it via SFTP. Now I'm going to connect my template and let's call it, for example, base template. Okay. And then have it as an HTML. Actually, it would be better if I open it up and save it as HTML. Okay. Base template dot HTML. Let's try again. All right. Awesome. Now it saves as HTML because that's what your templates are. They're just HTML files. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this file with SFTP. So I'll be working with the VS code, which is a free, it's a free text editor that you can download. So what I'm going to do is I open the folder where the base template is and right now you know it's nothing so I'm just going to do HTML and HTML5 there you go so it says document and then let's say this is a normal template and then this will say I am a footer and here we'll say I am a header and let's here it says whoops I am a normal content. All right, so this is our header for the normal, normal content. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go extension and I'm going to try to find SFTP. And I think this is the one I have. All right. All right, now let's do control plus shift plus P, SFTP config. All right. And now I'm going to populate my username and password and the server name to connect remotely. So before I do that, you, you see where it says remote path. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to say to say the remote path is going to be in the root because I want the remote path to go directly under assets template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy here my entire path to my template folder, and then I'm going to copy it over here. And then I'm going to do a forward slash. So I want all the contents to go inside this folder. Remember, it's the root of your Modex assets template. All right, so we have connected our SFTP. I didn't show you, my, you guys my password because I didn't want you to hack me. So let's go to our template folder and then let's click F5. And there you go, our base template is here. So this is our base template. Now let's try to 
merge it into Modex. Remember, we created a template that is an HTML file that we connected via SFTP. We connected via SFTP. So we're back at our templates place at our Modex. So this is the base template that came with the site. So we're going to delete this. Okay, so you actually can delete it because this template is in use. So let's switch that to the fur baby template. And let's delete the template that came with the site. So this template came with the installation. And did I save? No, I don't think I did. Okay, when you're changing templates, make sure to actually click save. All right, save, uh, elements, template, base template. Let's uh, remove template, okay. Oh dear. Okay, apparently the base template is very difficult to delete. Anyways, let's change the name of our template we want to apply. Let's go to file. Where is the rename button? Okay, let's do base template. Let's do base for baby template. Okay, now that it's different, let's uh, open the code. Okay, so our template is called base for baby template. Now let's uh, glue it into Modex. Okay, so to connect the template, what we gotta do is first make sure that our template is actually being uploaded. In our case, Yes, it's uploaded base for baby template. So this is actually inside the assets template directory. And then I want you to go here and click new template and then use the same name. So our name is base for baby template. And then I want you to click is static. And what that's going to do is you're saying the template actually is a static file on the file system. I'm not going to be entering any code here because I will be uploading it via SFTP. And then after you click is static, we, we need to click here, static file, click this button, and then try to find the template. And remember, we, we put our template in assets, template, and there you go, base for baby template. Awesome. Click OK, click save, and there you go. This is our base for baby template. And now if we go to home and click view, we're not going to show anything because we have the fur baby template. But if we want to make sure that the text that we entered here, I'm a header, normal content in the footer, shows up on our site, we have to change the template. So we want to change it instead of fur baby, we want to change it to base fur baby template. Are you sure you want to change the template? Yes, we click OK and then we click save. All right, and then we click view. And there you go. It says, I'm a header, I have a normal content, I'm a footer. And this is how we start to develop our website from here. Any change we make, let's like let's make a change and let's say Oreos. Yeah, make sure we dis we misspell that too. And then, I, so I clicked save, and remember I connected my file with SFTP. So every time I click, I press save, the well, the template is going to upload to my server. So let's let me refresh. Okay, okay. So our content is not applying because I forgot one more thing. If we go to settings, so go to your homepage, settings, and I want you to uncheck cacheable because during development, you do not want your pages to be cached since you're going to be editing them all the time. So uncheck cacheable, click save, and don't worry, we're going to enable this before we go into production. And then go to preview site, and there you go. The Oreos is embedded. Now let's do another thing. Let, let's, do, let's enter donkey. Refresh, it says donkey. There you go. This is how, and this is how you create your own custom template to start developing the Modex site.